All right, I'm going to give everyone one warning. Click off this video if you don't want to see anything disgusting, possibly terrifying, etc, etc. But if you're in for the ride, just watch this first clip to see what we're in for. <laughs> What the f- I have no idea what this guy's problem is. He claims that he's 29.5 years old, so he's a 30-year-old man, and he's a huge mini lad supporter. Doesn't surprise me, most pedophiles would support him. I wasn't gonna look into this mini lad fan, but he's been commenting his Twitch stream link on my channel, which I have approved his comments just because I think they're funny to look at. He's trying to, like, defend himself because some other YouTube user stole his name or whatever, which isn't that big of a deal. Like, he shows live streams of him reporting this guy, and then he also, like, tries to defend Mini Lad in any case scenario. So I decided I was gonna go over to one of his Twitch streams, which he was live when I went over there, and ask him a couple questions. Shortly, the stream ended afterwards, so I didn't have much time to be able to chat with him or anything like that. Trevor Valentine 0 asks, Hey, what's your thoughts on Mini Lad? I really shouldn't have to answer that question because I know he's an innocent man. This goes on for a long time. I'll just keep it up because some of you guys might be laughing at this. An innocent man. He is an innocent man. Oh, yes, he is. An innocent man. Whoa, whoa. So he's not innocent. He admitted it on Twitter. Here's the exact line where he started admitting it. So I asked him, hey, is there any proof that he's innocent? Proof. Believe me, I am proof, baby. You're not proof at all. If anything, you look like a pedophile just as much as he does. For one, I've done non-exhaustive internet research, and I have found that Mini Lad has no warrants out on him. Okay, just because he has no warrants out for him doesn't mean he didn't do it. He clearly admitted it. There's people who have shown proof of him sending his bulge, sending wrongful tax. There's legit proof of this online, and the victims have came out and said it anyways. If the victims were to come out and say it, and there was no proof being shown, and Craig denied it, then it would be harder to say that Craig did it. But Craig literally admitted to it, and we have the proof in front of us, online. Just search it up online. There's places online to look at it. That's just the first thing. Number two, he has no criminal record. If you don't believe me, just look up the name Craig Joseph Thompson. You don't need to have a criminal record to be a pedophile. By extension, if you look up Craig Joseph Thompson on available sex offender registries online, I might want to let you know about that. Look up his name and you'll find out that his name comes up a grand total of zero times and zero times with a slash. I can't really do it with my hands. So it clearly proves that many lad is an innocent man. All right. Well, he's probably not going to be on any of these because he hasn't actually been convicted of any crimes yet. And I say yet, hoping that, yes, he actually does get arrested for what he did. But having said that, it doesn't matter if he's on this sex offender website or not, or if he has any criminal records. He admitted that he did it. So there's evidence that he did it that were leaked. Screenshots. Stuff that is true. He admitted it on Twitter. Again, I'm going to say he admitted it on Twitter. And the victims have came out and spoken about it already. Don't tell me what many lad supposedly said on Twitter. In the words of Judge Judy, it's hearsay. And hearsay is inadmissible in a court of law. And don't tell me what Minnie Lad supposedly thought. 
It's speculation. This is a confession. He confessed. And if you need to look up the word confession, I can do it for you. A formal statement admitting one is guilty of a crime. This is a confession. He came out and confessed to what he did. This isn't hearsay. This is a confession. And for someone who talks about Judge Judy a lot, you really have no idea what you're talking about. Trust me, I have... I literally have a guidebook on Judge Judy's pet peeves. Which are also my pet peeves. Uh, the clearing the air video, that proves nothing. I wouldn't trust a computer to speak my weight. Alrighty, I'm just going to assume this guy's retarded. He still admitted he was wrong in the clearing the air video. And uh, this guy is just retarded, I guess. This is just proof that some of Mini Lads fans are brain dead and they'll go to the ends of the earth just to attack people that are against him. We were completely fine with him taking a break from YouTube to go work on himself, but not a fucking month, and then coming back just to play Minecraft. The clearing the air video gave no justice at all to any of the victims or to actually explain what he did. He took less than 10 seconds to talk about it. Because he makes more money than you. You are gold diggers, male and female, and you're cloud hunters, saying useless things and meaningless stuff just to try to get attention. Hunker. And hunger is what separates men like me and Minilad from a mouse like you. Okay, yep, this stuff's getting kind of stupid. This is some of the people I talk about when I call Minilad fans brain dead. I'm not really talking about the intelligent few who just don't know what's going on. Those people should be like checking out videos like this or some of Diesel Patches or Sensitive Society's videos to understand the situation and get explained the situation. Anyways, if you guys like the video, you guys can like and subscribe. Thanks for all the support on my previous videos. It means so much and I've been seeing such a change in my analytics that a lot more people are tuning in, a lot more people are commenting. I will be making a part two to Avengers vs. Minilad. If you guys have any ideas on what I should do for that, go back to the original video and you can comment in the comment section below and I will be checking out that comment section while I make it to add anything that fans would like me to add in it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I will catch you guys later. Peace.